Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to listen to some mumbly jumbly. All the way from St. Albans, your host for tonight, Abs the Magic, Super Coach Godfather. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is Jared Witts. Uh, I started this man last year. I paid 380k for him, and he was a gun. He helped me get to the top 10. Uh, I can almost say single handedly. Now, he's not 380k anymore. He's a little bit more expensive now. He's at his true value. So, speaking of true value, does he offer value? Do we need to find value in the ruck? Do we just do set and forget? Uh, we're going to cover this now, and we're going to find out. I posted a video uh, of Lloyd Meek in the Supercoach AFL uh, forum on Facebook. Then the sh Salt Shakers came along. Uh, his name is Rick Lake from the Salt Shaker. I think that's his team name, Salt Shakers. And we were having a chat, but we weren't chatting about Meek. We were actually chatting about Wits. And... Um, he showed me Wits's, um, let me just show you here, let me go into here. He says that Wits looks pretty slim, and to be honest, he does. He looks very slim. Uh, I'd say he lost about five kilos, at least, looking at that picture there. But yeah, so that's how I thought about doing the Wits video. So let's continue. Okay, looking at his previous averages, okay, and um, everything looks okay but last year looked sensational. Now, he only went at 110. Uh, I mean, you, you consider that most, like the Gorns and the Grundies in their, in their era, in their past era, would go at 130. So he only went at 110. It's not like he went at 130. But it's the work he did at the start of the season that sort of pushed him. Although, if you look at the very start of the season, it wasn't like he was on fire. He 75, 95, and 88. But in between there, there's some big scores. 150, 140, 130, 130, uh, 130 a lot of times. Then you got some low scores, 68, 150, 63, 117, a few more low scores. But by the time these low scores came, it didn't matter because everyone had him. It was here where he did all the damage, okay, at, at the front half of the season. Um, everyone had to get him to catch up, but when they got him, he was no good. <laughs> well, he was good, but he was nowhere near as good as he was at the start of the season, which then... Uh, gives, makes me a little bit worried now. Which which part are we, are we going to get these 80s again? Or are we going to have this huge run? Now, uh, I'm not going to go into any other stats today except for this, okay? Because there's no need. He's the number one Ruckman at Gold Coast. There is no other Ruckman. So he, he has that role. So he's going to be um, most likely the highest scoring Ruckman next to Marshall. I would say, I would say it's them two. It's Marshall and and uh, and Wits will be a one and two this year if Marshall gets the first ruck gig as well. I'm going to do a list of the pros and cons of Wits, all right? Wits, the pros. Okay, set and forget. You don't have to worry about him. Once you got him, you got him. You don't have to worry no more. Uh, round 13 bye. That's extremely handy. You don't have to worry about bye rounds. You've got him. He's set for the round 13 bye. Uh, there aren't many. It's only Geelong and, and, and Gold Coast that have this bye. So you can relax knowing that Wits will play all the tough byes. He'll play round 14 and round 15, which a lot of players are going to miss. So that is handy. All right. So that's another, another pro. Uh, another pro would be his average. He'd be in a top two. All right, so is, I would say guaranteed top two. Uh, but nothing is guaranteed these days. <laughs> they just come down. But uh, yeah, I would say top two. So they're the only pros for wits. Okay. Now the cons. Value. He offers none. Right, what you see is what you, you you virtually 
won't be pay any extra for him. He'll be at that price all season. If anything, maybe a little bit lower, but not much lower. So he'll be very, very consistently roughly around about the 600k mark. All right. Now another value. Actually, I'm just gonna go back to the pros again. All right. I forgot. I forgot one thing. All right. The pros. One more thing. Pod. He's only in 12 percent of teams. That's one more thing. Okay. Now back to the cons. Value. He offers no value. Okay. When when we say value, we mean um, value wise, what his price rise so you, you're sort of getting him cheap like last year he has he was value he was 380k he offered lots of value all right you don't have to have value in the rucks but sometimes it's good to have value anywhere on the ground it doesn't matter where they play so with uh which there is no value all right what you're paying for what you're getting next um does does he unstay i don't even know how to spell this unstabilize does he unstabilize your structure, okay? Because uh, if you compare, let's say, Wits v. Uh, let's, let's get double T in there. Wits v. Uh, a 400k Ruckman or 430k Ruckman, uh, you, you're spending close to 200k extra. Now that's 200k. You could you can uh, build the rest of your team with, and, and your structure will be much better. So. Is he going to unstabilize your structure? Now, I would say um, it's a possibility, all right? Um, are, you going to, are you going to lose points? Uh, if, you have, um, if you have a different Ruckman, let's say you've got Lysette instead of... Um, let's make this Lysette, okay? Let's just go Wits versus Lysette. If you have Lysette, are you going to lose points because you don't have Wits? Because you've got Lysette plus... Uh, around about 180k so you have Lysette plus the cash all right so which one would you take um now which has more points but Lysette has uh, high points plus he has an extra 180k cash um that 180k cash can equal an extra possible 30 points just say you can make 30 points you can at least get 30 points out of that 180k and put it elsewhere you can upgrade let's say a green uh, into a, a star player like um, the Bond. Okay, you can increase or the McRae's. Uh, you can go Took Muller instead of having green. So you, you can sort of play around a little bit more with your midfield. Uh, whereas if you go Wits, you may have to go for the Greens and the Tom Mitchells and, and and the LDUs who are good value. So it's a matter of who do you want at the end of the year? Which which uh, eight midfielders do you want? Do you want to have Green, LDU, Tom Mitchell, etc., or do you want to have McRae, uh, Bontempelli, um, Tuuk Miller? Do you want to have these players uh, at the end of the year? Because your virtue wits, and I mean, you can have these players in your team now, but it's hard to have everyone at 600k in your team because you can have a lot of rookies on field. So you sort of want to balance your team. And for me. Uh, for my team, the way my team is structured right now, Wits is unbalancing it. Uh, I just can't stabilize it. Uh, that, that extra 180k makes a huge difference for me. But that's not to say that I might change my mind and go with Wits. So that they're, they're the only pros and cons I have. There, there are no other pros and cons that I can think of. It's just a 180k value. So he's a lock. He's definitely a lock. Okay, But you can't throw away the keys. Right, is a lock, but for me at this stage and the way my team is balanced right now and set up, he's a pass. I can't fit him in. Um, I'm going to try to fit him in later on. I just hopefully he doesn't do a lot of damage by the time I get him. But unfortunately, they only give us ten mil. They don't give us ten and a half mil. <laughs> so yeah, he's a pass for me. Although he's a pass today. All right. It's just today. Today is a pass. But tomorrow, I might get him again. He's in the team. It's a lock. And then the next day, he's a pass again. And the next day, he's a lock. My, t my team keeps changing. I can't make up my mind if I want him or not. Uh, so it's a very confusion right now. Just calm it down. But at the, today, as we speak, 
Here's a pass. However, there was some big information came in today. He was spotted at Abs Road Oval with the boys training, and Lysette didn't look happy. Okay, so we're just letting you know there. Just coming down. But that's all I can say for like with, with Wits. We know how good he is, so there's no point in me going and showing you charts and graphs. I'm just telling you right now, he's good. I'll, see, I'll show you his scores. That's all for today. Thank you for joining. And remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now.